Greetings and salutations, folks, and welcome back to Doom Eternal, where last time we had finally defeated the last of the, um, the Hell Priests, so I would imagine the next thing left for us to do is to defeat the Conmaker, or at the very least figure out how to defeat the Conmaker. Um, and we also, we did also manage to defeat a boss, uh, a lot easier than I expected, um, although I was talking to a friend of mine about this. Uh, about the gladiator, uh, the gladiator versus the, um, the marauder. Is that, like, the marauders just move so fast that it's, uh, it's very difficult to actually even see his moves. Whereas, like, the gladiator, or especially the, in, your, in your first attempt, whereas the gladiator moves at a much slower pace. Um, he telegraphs his punches a lot more clearly. Uh, so that made actual fighting against him a lot easier. Uh, but... Oh. The Conmaker has overloaded your systems. Vega has no control over... You know, I heard somebody mention that this might end up being a, uh... The human race you fight to protect would have survived. Now I will resurrect the Icon of Sin. He will devour Earth and leave The Icon of Sin? Are you resurrecting John Romero? And this will be yet another world you brought to extinction. Was that the goal of the hell to Um, was that the goal of hell to, uh... To, um... Eradicate most of Earth? Was it basically the Matrix? Uh, like, uh, the plan for the AI in the Matrix... Was to eradicate most of Earth? Except for, like, a specific group of people? That would carry on to the future. Oh, there you are. There we go. Ah, but now I have the crucible. So, which is interesting, because that means I'm essentially using Argent Energy. Okay, find the thing to stop the vi the Conmaker. I'm presuming that Conmaker is considered a Titan. Um, or are we referring not to the, the Conmaker, we're referring to the Icon of Sin, or John Romero as he's better known. Oh. This is the Resistance Network, broadcasting live from inside the Arctic safe zone. There was a Slayer sighting on Phobos. Eyewitness reports say that he was spotted inside a command center, and then proceeded to fight his way through the mortally challenged and onto the deck of the BFG. I like how they even they call them the mortally confirmed. challenged. But many believe it was the Slayer himself who destroyed Mars in an attempt to stop the challenged from further advancing their position on Earth. We will post more information as it comes in. This is an ARC broadcast. Like, I presume that the term mortally challenged was largely uh, dictated to humanity by the UAC. And the fact that, like, even just these uh, survivors are using that uh, that terminology. With the death of her priest, the blood ritual has been broken. The con maker, desperate for a way to consume Earth, is attempting to resurrect the icon of sin under her command. 
Only the Slayer's Crucible Blade can stop the Icon. To retrieve it, you must journey back into your past, to the city of Taras Nabad, where your legend began. Ooh, some lore. Your crucible is still embedded in the titan that attacked this sentinel city. Your first battle against the demons in this world, where the legend of the Slayer began. Ah, uh, now we have the retconning of the, uh... Of the uh, Doom guy's past, I had, I think I had, I had assumed that um, it was kind of blending the original storyline with the new storylines. But I, yeah, this essentially kind of uh, changes that. Um, also, what are you way down there? Are you just a? Interesting. That'll be a problem for another time. And by another time, I mean slightly later today. <laughs> um, let's see. Anything for me to worry about? Sometimes I, I like to check the map just so I could be like, Alright, this seems to be the closest hat, uh... This looks like it's the closest, um... Platform, is this the right platform I go to? It was the crown jewel of Argent Denur. For centuries, it served as the spiritual hearts of Argent society, home to both the royal family and the center of political power. No expense was spared in the building of the city with bold, colonided, colonided architecture and towering monuments to gods and kings resplendent on every avenue. Rural Argenta flocked to Taras Nabad on pilgrimage to the Makar temples. The city was ground zero of a massive demonic invasion attempt, and although the invasion was thwarted, the attack changed Argenta society forever. Um, alright. And there is actually a sentinel battery uh, below us. Okay, that was clearly not a place I can uh, land on. So, oh, other side. There we go. Nope, let's try that from a slightly higher point. There we go. They can do their thing, it's fine. Oh, hello. Ah! What am I gonna use? What am I gonna use? I'm gonna use... Plasma? Ah! There we go. And then... There we go. Um, now we're going to use rockets. Actually, let's do a lock on. There we go. Okay. He has rolled over and been destroyed. Just a, just a little bit of a fight at the entrance. I probably should have known there was going to be a fight, considering the fact that, uh, these... These green markers were red when I approached. Oh, hello. Is that a marauder? That is a marauder, isn't he?
Damn it. I was hoping I wouldn't have to fight another one again. But, here we are. Where are you? I don't really have that much space here. Uh, let's, uh... Ah, damn it. I was hoping uh, to get at that guy over there, but... Uh, son of a... This is... the least... fun enemy in the game. Okay. So this is essentially the... Oh, since the arrival of the Slayer. Was he an outlander to this area too? Alright. Um, there is a, apparently a secret underneath this. There we go. Doom 2016 soundtrack. Um, all right, thank you, game, for... There we go. Why are you taking so many shots? All right. Oh, there is the climbable wall of choice. Uh, let us switch to that. Ah, uh, nope, that was not a very good choice. Damn it. Uh, that was a reflex there. I was hoping to just, uh, glory kill, but... That's okay. Bad guy is defeated. But something that I'm going to have to keep in mind, I guess, now that the Marauder is a actual enemy, uh, is I remember a friend of mine telling me that the... Um, that the uh, emergence of the dog is entirely based on shooting him while his shield is up. So ultimately, as long as I don't... Okay, what are... Oh, it's a Hell Knight, of course. What on earth are... Uh, is there a buff totem? There's a buff totem. There's always a... buff totem somewhere. Which is where? I'm gonna have to actually... Kill somebody though because I am running. Oh, oh hello. Or is there no buff totem and then there's just. Oh my gosh. Some.
And somebody please glory kill, make glory kill available to them. That'll be very kind. Oh my gosh. You know, it's times like these where I'm like, oh, hello. Whatever happened to the shots? Ah, oh, son of a... Alright. Let's chainsaw you. Is the... What's it called? I forget the name of that specific enemy. This guy. Is he the butt the arc vial? So he is more or less the buff totem. Alright, where is there a guy I can chainsaw? Actually, let's deal with you. Chainsaw you. Jesus. I barely have any idea what's going on in front of me. Ah, hello. Nope, I don't even care about you. Huh. Alright. Let us deal with somebody in this crowd. Maybe the, uh... Yep, there goes the pain elemental. There goes this guy. Ah, oh, that was a pinky this all time. Hello, pinky. Okay, goodbye, Pinky. Oh my gosh. Another uh, Mancubus. Um, I don't have much ammo with that, so let us deal with him. Is he just going to stand there? Kind of weird. Did the game just forget the... Is that what I'm telling myself? That this time I'll be able to be the hero? Also... Pretty odd bug in regards to having just these two enemies just minding their own business. Alright, let us chainsaw this guy. Try not to panic so much as the game progresses. Despite the fact that the game is very, very insistent about sending a billion guys at me at the same time. Uh, let's grab this map. Um, what else have we got to grab? We have a sentinel battery there, but it's not open yet. We have a secret fight there, but I don't care. Or what are you? A mastery token allows you to bypass active weapon mastery challenges and instantly activate weapon masteries. All right. Interesting. Um, I'm already most of the way done with the plasma rifle, so there's no point in me figuring, uh, uh, getting around that mastery token. That said, I have not done the, um... Any of the challenge for this one. So I don't not, so if I skip this, then I don't necessarily have to worry about, uh, deploying killing five enemies for every single deployment. Um, and I can just jump directly to that. So I'm going to do that. Uh, 
All right. Let us jump back into the game. Um, took like a little bit of a break, like 30 minutes or so. Let's see if that helps. Um, nope. Oh, damn it. My dog uh, wants attention again, so take another break. All right. My dog seems to have been satiated for the moment. His need to play uh, resolved. Oh, no, that was the door that I emerged that had the... Uh... Is there a similar door on this side? I mean, potentially. Hmm. Also, hold on. There appears to be a... Oh, hello. How are you? There appears to be, uh, yep, there's a token there. But I have no means to access it from this side, so let us carry on. Um, uh, okay. Uh. Oh. Uh, underwater, I was not expecting, uh, while well, dashing is the only way to destroy... Breakables. I was not expecting there to be a swimming section, but here we are. All right, let us dash into this. Okay, that is a very odd uh, section. And am I supposed to essentially? Am I draining the swamp? Is that what I'm up to here? Uh, let's, uh, collect... Ah, damn it. There we go. Okay, let's climb this wall. See what's... up here. Uh, is this essentially gonna be how I get to, uh... Uh, get to those other areas. Um, Alright, let us head in this direction. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what happened there. I am not entirely sure why I can't seem to jump out of this water. Like, am I not expected to do so? Am I expected to actually climb up on this side? And then maybe... Mm. Mm. You know... Oh, God. Some of these sections are, they were a little bit ambitious in regards to... Okay, somehow that worked. And all that does is put me there. I have to admit, I have no idea exactly where this game expects me to go. It's because it doesn't seem like it can go... Okay, I guess I was supposed to shoot that? Also, having the climb wall button uh, delegated to the right stick is a very odd choice. I would imagine. Oh, hello.
Oh, did he crash into the wall there? Um, let us... Deal with you... As best as we can, given these tight quarters. Um, apologize for opening up the map all the time, but I find like this area is kind of a little bit more confusing in regards to the navigation thereof. Okay. Ooh, what on earth is that? And also, an extra life. I will definitely have to grab that because I've already lost uh, two in this uh, specific area. Does that open up this gate? It's not. It seems to do nothing. Or maybe I didn't see what the world was like before, so I can no longer appreciate what the world is like now. Okay. Okay, now the gate is open. Uh, what secret do we have here? Uh, it's a Cybermancubus. Speaking of Cybermancubus, um, I do have my blood punch ready. Do I? Yes. Yes, I think I do. Yes, I do. There's just, sometimes there's a lot on the screen and I don't really pay attention to the blood punch quite as much as I paid attention to a lot of other things. We must move quickly. There are those who would seek to stop this. I offer you a gift. Yes, accept a gift from a hooded figure. Oh my gosh. Are there tentacles coming out from the bottom of its robe? Help you on your journey. Or is this where the, um... And now, they will fear you. Is this how the stranger essentially became a sentinel? Uh, because in the lore it stated that he was upgraded. Um... There we go. Thank you, secondary platform. You may be secondary, but you're primary to my heart. Um, Alright, so we got another Codex. The Divinity Machine, yes. Um, with the infinite conscious matrix of the all-seeing maker god mind, there exists every potentiality, every predictive variable of possible future timeline, each one known to the maker collective with omniscient inextricable clarity. The god mind surveys these timelines, watching them form and expand exponentially like fractal patterns in the fabric of existence. Among these infinite possibilities, only one constant appears among them, unchanged by the flowing data of an endless variability. That of the prophesized destroyer, the one who would bring about the destruction of the makers. Hmm. Nobody wants... Would you want consistency for all of your prophecies? Oh. Uh, let us smash you. Ah, what am I? Ah, I'm getting stuck at something. All right. Darn level geometry always working against me. Also, is that a, is there a pain elemental here? Um, and is that another? That's another Cyberman Cubis, unfortunately. Oh, that is a nice, um, 
twitch response of the of the um, the melee glory kill button. That gets rid of him. Uh, let us use the... Alright. <sighs> Let's see if we can uh, get rid of the regular... Uh, Demon. So now we've got a Cyberman Kibis and a um a big guy in play. Also, shall we Let's wait until he comes down to the ground. Or if he's not coming down to the ground, let us just... Okay, that got rid of one of them. Um, greetings and salutations, sir. Oh, nope. Um, where is there somebody I could get some ammo from? Hello, sir. And now we can lock onto him. And then take him out. Okay, he got lost, lodged into the, uh, environment. Whew. Alright. So I managed to get through that without dying. Excellent. Actually, I say I got through that without dying, but that would be like saying that this is actually over. Um, let's round up you guys. Hmm. Are you the last candidate? There we go. No? Who's left? Is there somebody who's stuck in a wall or something? Or like a... A lost soul just minding their own business? Oh! Yep, there's this guy who's just stuck way up here. All right. Um, yeah, let's retrieve our crucible. How does one retrieve a crucible? Oh. Do I have to be up here? Um, what am I missing? Oh, this is what I'm missing. Uh, okay, so that turned the statue, although that makes me feel like it's going to be, this is going to be more of a secret uh, than it actually is going to be progress. Is there another switch I'm supposed to press on this side? Ah, yep, there is. Nope, 
son of a... I only kind of grazed it. Oh! <laughs> I don't think he was meant to come with me. Also, nice classic theme. Oh, so this goes to the Slayer Gate, which I'm going to ignore in its bright pinkishness. Um, let's see. Let's see what's going on up here. Okay, that looks like it's progress. So apparently I probably swim around and then come back for the Slayer Key. Uh, let us try to make it through this. Make it through this uh, swimming environment. Ah, so that's what you're doing. You're lowering the the water Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time style. Or, I guess, Mario 64 style. There were a lot of... The N64 had quite a... F like, Nintendo was, like, all about the water raising and lowering back in the day. Um... Ah. And now that I can open up this portcullis, I can drain the water from there. And move on. Excellent. Although now I only have... Let's see, I only have a few shotgun shells. Let's switch to the plasma rifle. Especially since I'm able to do a... Um, Heat Blast. I definitely knew the name of that one off the top of my head. Um, hmm. I guess I'm supposed to go there. But. Uh, okay, so now I have to climb here, shoot the glass, and then in theory this will also place me on the other side uh, with the Slayer key. I would imagine I just need to turn left in order to get to it. And I'm going to pick it up. I'm just not going to use it. Also, I just realized I didn't bother to pay attention to the challenges in this one. Perform three different glory kills and pain elementals. Use ice deep bomb. You know, I keep forgetting about the ice bomb. Which I have. And I've upgraded a little bit. Actually, hold on. I should be able to upgrade it some upgrade it some more. And also, I should also be able to. Kill 15 Prowler Demons. Alright. Kill 50 demons with the super shotgun while using the meat hook. That sounds really easy. Ah, that's, um... That's some, um... What's it called? Um... Uh, Thank you guys for knocking me out and about. Um, that's BFG ammo. Let's grab some fuel. Ooh, where does this portal take us? Some fuel. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that. 
which I desire. It's a good thing that they're not smart enough to actually follow me through portals. Um. Ah, nope. And I'm definitely going to have to chainsaw somebody at this rate. Wow, you got you are a big fella. Are you a baron of hell? It's the, is that your classification? Oh, hello. Um, what do I have ammo with? I mean, after this, I've got ammo with nothing. So, thank you for... For the resupply, sir. Thank you. And you. Why do I keep going backwards? Ah. Uh, it's one of you. Oh my gosh. None of these are preferable choices. If only he wasn't just standing next to a... Uh, Uh, next to a wall there. Alright, I need to grab health from somebody. Or die. Either is a valid choice, I suppose. Oh, hello. I did not realize in all of my moving around, ah, son of a, that, uh, the, ah, there's a health item right over there. That there was, um, I don't even know what knocked me back in that situation. All right, can I see what is in front of me? Yeah, a lot of these, uh, while I feel like there's, oh my gosh, I have like no ammo. Um. Is there somewhere I can grab some ammo? Somebody who's just lingering around? Nobody's lingering around, it's just this guy. Alright, I guess I'm using, um... I'm using plasma rifle rounds to take this guy out. Great. Like every so often, like I feel like I've gotten some grip on the on the uh, combat in the game, and then I'm reminded the answer is no, I have not, and it's probably better off that I'm playing it on normal and not on any higher difficulty. Uh, no need to be ambitious if you don't have the skills to back it up. Um, all right, let us carry onward. I guess I picked up the um, the BFG ammo already. All right. Oh, hello. That's how you get to this secret area and this uh, special fight, which I'm not going to participate in. Ooh, power up mode. 
because I don't necessarily have the supplies that I'm willing to waste upon uh, special fights. Um, let us... Um, I'm already healed up. Imagine that. This would have been more useful before I died. If the crucible blade is removed, the titan will rise again. Okay, that does not sound like a good time. But I suppose I don't have a choice? Yet as the Slayer and the Night Sentinels battled their demonic host, their failure to act outside the confines of their duty allowed the rancor of the Essence to grip the Argenta. Hmm. Okay, this is a lot. So, okay, let's just uh, jump into this. It was on a mission deep within the boiling seas of the Nether Realm, where the Order of the Six reside, that a company of Night Sentinels learned of the Conmaker's true dealings with the calloused beasts. By Maker Design, it was kept secret from the Sentinels and Argent people alike that the essence we had grown so reliant on during this war was compromised of the very spirit of our brothers and sisters who'd fallen to these vile creatures. Um. So wait, is Argent Energy, is that, um, what was that food substitute that was actually people? I forgot the name of the actual uh, substitute in the movie, and I want to say it's the title of the movie itself. But all we need is Charlton Heston to run out onto the, into the square and be like, it's people, you're eating people. The truth had been uncovered, that all beings who found their end by the demonic horde would become a vassal of the hellscape. Their flesh in time twisted into the very demons we fight. Their souls extracted to create the essence that powers their world, and ours. The victims were the enemy, and the enemy would become us. The soldiers stood in awe at the base of a factory dedicated to such action. By the way, this already sounds like a more inter like this already sounds like an interesting story on its own right. Like this could easily have been its own game. Uh, a place where the bodies of the slain were sorted and processed, tortured for the mill to have their souls extracted through sinister magic. Enormous vats of pain and suffering, ethereal energy, the haunting sounds of lost souls awash in an eternity of servitude, transformed into energy to power our struggle against the dark realm and its malice. But worse than this grim reality was the discovery of the machinery which was used to enact the vile process our fallen had been subjected to, for it was not by hoof and claw that this blasphemous technology had come to pass, but by the hand of the Argenta guided by the Mother God's desires. We had fallen deep within the grasp of the enemy. What we had fought against would not reveal itself to be true, as without countenance we could not hold no sway over the Argenta populace. Regardless, the honor of the Night Sentinels would have to hold up the verity of these claims, and the Mother God could be our divinity no more. In secret corridors and clandestine conference, the Night Sentinels would find those against them, amongst them, who similarly distrusted the essence and had foretold the swelling corruption. Once the truth could be shared, the skeptics became members of the Sentinel Insurrection, and the breach between holy and unholy Argenta began to grow. So essentially, like, this is kind of an extension of the uh, Doom 2016 plot. Because, like, the Doom 2016 plot presented this idea that, uh, like, Earth, uh, had become addicted to Argent energy. The energy that's flowing from the gates of hell. But now this kind of brings it up in an even more universal scale. That, like, Hell's energy had essentially uh, enraptured so much of the universe. Oh. Ah, almost missed this one. Ah, it's a marauder. You suck, marauder. You suck. All right, let's uh, let's see what happens when we remove the our weapon from the Titan.
Alright, that does not seem like a good thing. But I mean... So I have the Crucible. But not the blade. Oh, hello. Um, oh yeah, I have no ammo. Where can I find ammo, sirs? I can take it from you! Excellent! Get... And there goes all my rockets already. Oh, hello. What is hitting me from this side? Ah! Ah, uh, isn't that another Marauder? It's another Marauder. Let's heal up using that health pack that I definitely did not take on my way back later, er, earlier on. Um, let's not, let's, I guess let's heal up with you. Okay. Why isn't Chumpy in the air? Oh my gosh. Son of a... You unrivaled jump pads! Launch me! Are you now going to launch me this time? Thank you, you... Son of a... Yeah, I'm just definitely going to be losing... Oh, nope. Back in the game. Damn it. What can I now hit for health? You, sir. I can hit you for health. Ah. Yeah, fighting these guys on unclear geometry. Not exactly a good time. Let us take this guy out. Also, there's a prowler. So, ah, there's a dog too. Get Where is the prowler? There we go. Okay. Do I have... Oh, I have nothing. That does not help my cause. And then let's get some more health. Nope, I did not want to do that. Let's get some more health. And some more health. Ah, uh, son of... It's like you can only hit him in very specific points in time. But then he also has other attacks which you can't hit him. Oh, you son of a... 
Alright. Circling around, getting health. Yeah, this is the stupidest enemy in the game. I will stand by that statement. Regardless of my... Cut. I will stand by this statement regardless of my own skill level. Oh, he considered that an attack against me to... Cut. All right, what are we gonna do? We're going to... Let's just BFG him. Was that a wasted shot because he had his shield up? Alright. Guess we're healing up again. Like, anybody... I. Uh, this is one of my main criticisms of the game, um, Loco Cycle. Like, if you haven't played the game Loco Cycle, like, it's it's not really that good. Oh. Oh, I should get some ammo. Um, and the problem that it has is, um... is that, uh, like, the enemies in the game can only really be beaten in one very specific fashion. So if you're fighting against, like, a, a, like a scientist that's floating around, the scientist can only be beaten in one fashion. Uh, if there's, like, a van with guns coming at you, it can only be defeated in one method. And that's my problem with, like, like, because of his speed, because of his shield, because of his flashing light before he attacks, that means, like, you only have, like, you have a very specific way of having to deal with him as a bad guy. Which makes him a huge pain in the butt and not particularly fun to fight against. And I will crap on him for the rest of the game. Okay, I'll try not to crap on him for the rest of the game. I'll just crap on him whenever he shows up. So that shouldn't be the whole game. Just the parts where he's in it. The world of Argent Anur has fallen. Divided. The demonic energy flows now to the south. And the society I once knew has been replaced by a corrupted world under maker rule. It did not need to end this way. You're telling me. Um, hmm. Ah, two pinkies. Three pinkies? Nope. Where are these pinkies? Where is this pain elemental? Shall I deal with the pain elemental first? I'll deal with the pain elemental first. Oh, I'll try to. Alright. Now how am I going to deal with these guys? Chain gun? Plasma rifle? Oh, hold on. Son of a... Whoop. 
Okay. That's the problem when you've got so many buttons that do the same things. Um... I think I missed all of those shots. Alright. Let's slash you up. Let's... What have I got? I've got almost nothing. Where are you? That was my intention, but I was not thinking about it at the moment. Son of a... Is that it? I think that's it. Alright, let us carry on. Try not to die. At the very least, it doesn't seem like we've lost too many lives. We seem to have only lost, like, one life. So, let's jump. Dash, dash, dash. There we go. Grab some health while we're at it. Do we get a nice elevator? Ah. Alright. Let's circle around here because... Oh. Never mind. Ah, uh, invisible pinky. And, uh... Another pinky. Is there somebody I can get ammo from? Because I am... Um... <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm impressed that that works, actually. <laughs> but yeah. Modern problems require modern solutions. There we go. And there's also a cacodemon kind of running around here, I believe. Along with the pain elemental. So now I can get rid of him. And where is... Uh, oh. Yeah, he's not really, like, the shotgun really doesn't do much to him. There we go with that prowler. Oh, hello. Alright. Um, let's just grab this right now, because why the hell not? Right in the middle of a combat situation. That is A-okay. Ah, hello. Oh. That was much more damaging against the invisible pinky, the specter, um, than I had pr uh, expected. Um, let's see. Oop. Before I carry on, there is a upgrade point here, which I definitely don't want to miss because that will upgrade my armor. Or do I really want to use... No. And then I've only got one more of these sentinel crystals to upgrade my armor, and then one more for my, um, ammo. I mean, I would imagine all the history of the Sentinels, like, they're essentially going to lead to two things. The Sentinels' eventual demise. Whoop. Again, <laughs> oh my gosh. I talked about forgetting uh, about the ice bomb, and then I immediately forgot about the ice bomb. Like, I was not very... Uh, I, uh, like, I completely forgot about the equipment 
in uh, Doom 2016. And it appears that I'm under the same influence with this game. So yeah, like the the history of the Sentinels are, is going to lead to either one of two things. The destruction of the Sentinels as uh, the Slayer knew it, and possibly also uh, the the Slayers, the uh, Sentinels that sided with Hell, that sided with Argent Energy. Was that fast enough? I don't think that was fast enough. Uh, let us... Oh, that was fast enough. Okay. So this will lead me to the uh, blade for my crucible. That's probably progress. Uh, and then this would be the end. Nope, there's still more story of the Sentinels. So I've got... So I have a sword now? Or do I not have a sword? Or is the sword more of like a... Very specific melee weapon? Hmm. So, this society built a throne within the skull of a dead god? Seems a little bit, uh... Oh, there we go. Problematic. There we go, and then jump back up here, and... Hold on, there is a secret up there. So in order to get to it, I need to... be slightly more accurate. That is uh, what I need to do. Um, there we go. Except I didn't actually get into said chamber. Let us try that again. There we go. Ooh. Quake 2 music. Alright. You know, I don't really know the music of Quake 2 that well. Um, I know the music of Quake 1 because I believe it was actually uh, composed by Trent Reznor. Um, but as for the music of Quake 2, not quite so much. Oh. Why, thank you, sir. Oh yeah, I probably should see if I can spend these tokens on something. I've got eight of them. Okay, so I can finish upgrading the ice bomb that I don't use. 
And then I could also start upgrading the frag grenade that I don't use. Uh, let us grab you. Nope, I can't. I. Mm. Ah, hello, demons. Okay, this is a lot of people in this very tiny amount of space. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to get ammo because, wow, I just kind of rip and tore through my entire ammo supply really quick, like. Um, is there anything for me to pick up in this area that I missed? Because I'm also out of chainsaw fuel. Oh, nope, it filled up a little bit. Thank you, chainsaw fuel, for... Uh, not being finite. Or should I say completely finite? Alright. Oh, hello. Hmm. Let's see what's going on on the floor here. Oh, okay. That's how you drain the area here. Thank you, machine gun bullets, for being in an existence. Um... There we go. And it looks like there's going to be one last fight. Hopefully it's one last... two last fights. Ah, son of a... That is not how far I wanted to get out of here. Um, though it seemed like a wise decision nonetheless. Yeah. All right, let's jump over to this side. Uh, blood punch this guy. There we go. That deals with the Cyberman Cubus. All right. Wasn't there a Hell Knight somewhere around here? Or did the Hell Knight just kind of bugger off? Also, let's see about um, getting some ammo from this guy. Wasn't there a guy over here? I guess there, no there wasn't a guy over there. Let's see about getting ammo from somebody upcoming.
Hmm. Another mastery token. All right. Which mastery do I want to skip? Um, I will skip the training for... What does the mastery do? Mas Meat Hook will set enemies on fire for a short time. All right. Um, let us bypass this challenge. Because I don't know if I ex ex exactly have the ammo to really worry about dealing with that. And here we go. The Crucible Reforged? I hope so. And also, once it's reforged, what does that necessarily mean for me as a Demon Slayer? What are its limitations? I'm sure you want to try out the weapon first before we leave. How did you know, sir? The crucible is a melee weapon of extraordinary power. Press right to unsheathe it and press right trigger to cleave demons. Each demon costs one pip. Replenish the Crucible's energy with Crucible pickups found in the world. You know, I'm sure the game is expecting me to... Oh, hello. Oh. I'm definitely using uh, it on pinkies Ooh. and on this pain elemental. Yeah, it feels like there's just so many buttons that do something now that it's like I'm trying to push something. Oh, hello. Hello, sir. Would you like a sword cut? He definitely does. Oh my. Are people being brought back to life? Son of a... God. Mmm. You know, I was talking to a friend of mine um, on Twitter about um, this game. And uh, he said uh, that he actually, he prefers Doom 3 over uh, Doom 2016. Um, largely because the pacing is oh my holy shit what the hell is going on on screen is like what is is less um crazy like doom tw like doom 2016 and also uh doom uh eternal like the pacing is just so chaotic that it's like that becomes a bit much. And like something like Doom 3 is slower, it's calmer, and focuses more on atmosphere rather than um, just manic uh, button mashing and running around. And it's times like these where I kind of understand his uh, feeling. Especially considering it's just like, you look at what's going on on the screen and just so much going on at any given time. Alright, let's get out of here. And I think that's going to be enough for one night. 
Uh, more Doom Eternal tomorrow, Turok the day after. New thing starts this weekend. Got any suggestions for someone to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.